Once the library has been populated, then you can choose a project, and for that project, we can record on a daily basis what has happened through the diary function. So the diary will be used by a number of people on a job site, uh, probably starting at the beginning of the day with the assistant engineer who would be recording what's happening with the weather. So we could say, 9 o'clock in the morning, it was dry, um, it was uh, 8 degrees C, and the wind speed was 11 metres per second. But at midday, uh, we had started to rain, uh, the temperature had increased, and the wind speed had dropped. So you've got that information permanently stored, and you can make as many entries as you like. We can also uh, bring pictures into the system, so we can load... Uh, pictures that have happened of the information that have uh, taken that day and so we can bring that information into the system we can scroll through uh, all the pictures in the system and we can preview and make larger any of the ones uh, that we want so we've got an exact record helping to build up an exact record of what was, what was happening on site on that day and also we can keep a history of the labour and the workforce that was on site that day. So we can say we had a site manager it's from our own company and there was one of them. And we can do that for uh, lots of people, but it's probably easier to uh, copy and paste that information from a previous day. So we've got all of that information and we don't have to repeat that. So we can say, well, actually, with the plasters, we had three plasters instead of two that day, uh, but there wasn't a carpenter, so we can get rid of them that particular day so we can record that information for the workforce and we can also do that for uh, plants so you've got a record what the weather was that day photographs of what the situation was and a history of the labor force and the plant but you've also got a number of areas for structured notes and for free form text in these uh, areas so we might say that the um, district surveyor visited and changed the drain specification. So these are the, the notes that the, the site manager or the site foreman would normally make in his diary, but now they're recorded in a single place, they're accessible for everybody and they're searchable and we can do things with them. So, so we've got information that we're holding in this, in this as a narrative and all of that information is vital to uh, record the history as the, as the job progresses.